In this video I want to talk about how you use green screen. Enjoy. You may have seen my uh, film Wish, which I'll link in the description below if you haven't seen it. But in that movie I used a lot of green screen images, especially on the car. So first of all you have to get uh, your actor to do the performing within the car, say the lines, say the dialogue, you get the raw footage. And then of course you would have to set a camera up in the car and start driving down the street. And do make sure to get it in the correct direction so that uh, it's in sync with whichever way they're driving. When you go into um, iMovie and when you splice those two footages together, you want to put them on top of each other and use the green screen effect. And if you click the button green screen, it should be able to automatically um, put the two of them together. And you may have to do a little bit of playing with the uh, rubber image and a lot of the uh, softness. So you can do a little bit of adjustment However, one thing I want to make you aware of though is when you're using green screen at night and I found myself when I was making my film and the character was in the car driving at night because of how dark it was the, the camera didn't necessarily pick up that there was a green screen outside the car so when you hit the green screen button often it wouldn't go uh, and create that background image that you wanted and so it's that tricky balance of when you're filming at night to get some kind of lighting on the green screen so that you can still um, use it to that effect but what I did in the end if the green screen was not working was just to get a black background and um, I mean if it's if it's at night and they're driving in a room in a very quiet place you probably you know, wouldn't always see street lights or buildings in the background, especially if you're driving in the woods or the forest, it would be a very black background. I suppose the only thing that's hard work with green screen, and I found this, is um, using something to hold the green screen down, especially as I didn't have stands and proper equipment. If I was printing it on the car, you, I would usually get a pair of shoes or a bag just to hold it in place. And then of course, if it's windy, you know, you need to make sure it's not blowing everywhere. And generally, you want your green screen pretty flat and uh, not as creased, not creased as much. You can tell there's a bit of crease in this one. So even if you have an iron, if you just want to iron it out, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, please watch the movie and um, just first of all, enjoy the film and see also the filming techniques that I use. Uh, if you like this and want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and leave some comments. But uh, thank you very much and uh, good luck in your green screen filming making.